Hello again. Now in the early days of the German army in World War II, the youngest arm of the Wehrmacht were the Panzer troops. So to go with the all black Panzer uniform they had back then, they, they wore the all black uniform, they came up with this fancy crash helmet, which was a black wool berry, shaped like a berry over a, an all cloth and rubber a protective skull cap. And that served them from about 1938 till about 1940 when it was declared obsolete and replaced by the Panzer side cap. Now when the the West German forces were formed, they were without a protective piece of headgear for their Panzer troops, newly formed Panzer troops. So the West Germans looked back to a traditional German type of headgear in the pre-war Third Reich headgear and came up with their own simplified version. So in this instance, this is the Berry Panzer Schermutz Bundeswehr Armoured Troops Crash Helmet, issued from 1955 to 1969. It was then overtaken by the introduction of a new series of berries for the West German Armed Forces, each with their own individual pressed metal badge. I'm sure you've seen the badges before on eBay. Um, this one is an olive wool berry, which in this instance is shaped over a piece of hard plastic formed um, skull cap. It has the machine embroidered Bundeswehr insignia on it. It has no specific unit insignia. It's Bundeswehr. Um, so it was issued to both tank troops, reconnaissance troops and what have you. No other cap badge was issued for this type of headgear. You have your rubber reinforced bumper thing there. The berry is not a permanent fixture because you have to take it off in order to wash it. So the berry is held merely by clipping it under the rubber. So this, this can actually be pulled off. And the berry, which in this case is damaged, it has a size 59, which correlates with the size of the skull cap. The skull cap has these air vents in it all the way around, and it has an extra felt. But when you look inside of it, see that there with, with the with the seam is the back, that's the front. It has your standard West German label. In this case, the headgear is dated 163, 1963, and it's size 59. Underneath that olive liner, if I can pull it away, you see the white plastic of the skull cap and how it's being formed. Then you have this leatherette sweatband, which is damaged. Um, these pieces of headgear, when they were declared surplus, the surplus shops used to be full of them in the 1970s and into the early 80s, but now it's become its own um, standalone collector's piece. They are now incredibly hard to find in really good condition. So it's a case of if you want one, get one while you can find them. Um, the, the headgear, as I've said, served the, the armoured troops from 1955 until declared obsolete in 69. There's not a great deal of these things about. Um, it's a classic case of yesterday's military surplus becoming today's standalone collector's item. When these were surplus, serious military collectors would not touch them. And then supplies dried up because they only made a certain amount of them. And now collectors want them for what they are. A kind of continuation of the old Third Reich Panzer Troop berry. Um, the, uh, the berry badge is the National West German Cockade with a pair of crossed sabres. And as I said, they were replaced by conventional black berries with badges in around about 1970. So quite a nice, strange collector's piece. And like I say, that, that seam there merely just clips under there to hold it back in when it goes back in. This one's a bit of damage, but because, because the berry, as we call it, is a separate piece to the skull cap, you may find a separate berry on eBay, but this, this particular berry was never worn as a separate item. It was only ever worn with the additional skull cap. So that's the 1955 to 1969 Berry Panzer Schermutz Bundeswehr Armoured Troops Crash Helmet. And it's something that you don't really see them about nowadays. Bye for now.